Now I'll create the computer for this. So I'm going to go to create polygon primitives cube. And I'm going to move that away from the center. I'm going to pull that down here. And you'll notice that I'm now working beneath the normal grid. Uh, that doesn't really matter. I feel like I can always move stuff at the end. I feel like it's just kind of a starting relative point. Um, so I'm not too concerned about that. Now I'm just kind of scaling this to make it the size of a computer. If you're watching this in the future, this is, it probably seems super archaic how big this computer is, but um, that kind of looks like my computer. So, okay, cool. So I've got something like that. And if I wanted to um, make it fancier, I could. And one thing that I want to point out is that I could put a lot of textures on this to make it look like there's, you know, maybe a, a CD drive, if those even exist anymore, um, some ports and, and that type of thing. Or, you know, I could model that stuff in. I think maybe I'll leave it like this for now and determine what I want to... Um, model on it later but and now maybe i want kind of room for let's say a chair um, so maybe i want to move this stuff over so i just selected this and then held down shift to select both of them and now i can move that over like that a little bit there we go and now i also have some room for the mouse okay so for the mouse i'm going to go like this create polygon cube I'm going to move this over here. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. Okay, something like that. And for this mouse, okay, that's a little blocky. Now, I'm going to do this. I'm going to put an insert edge loop right here. And I'm going to grab this edge and pull that edge up a little bit like that to get kind of a good shape of the mouse. Maybe grab this face in face mode and scale that in a little bit like that. There we go. Yeah, that looks good. Maybe grab this one, kind of grab that. Now it looks more like a shape of a mouse. And now with that selected, I'm going to go to Mesh Smooth. Okay. And I can see that now it looks a lot rounder. And maybe, mm, I don't really like that too much. So I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna put an edge loop closer to the bottom here before I smooth it. And now watch what that does to the shape. So now if I go to mesh, smooth, okay. It kind of held that bottom to be nice and flat. Okay, cool, yeah, I'm really liking that shape of the mouse. I'm going to right click, go back to object mode. And now I can scale that down a little bit. There we go. That looks good. Okay, great. Um, now I've got that. So I feel like I can use the smooth to kind of make shapes a little bit more organic, if you will. And um, I'm going to see that smooth kind of being used in a, another lesson when we get to the chair. Um, but let's, let's talk about uh, creating the chords, okay? So for the chords, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look at the top view. So I'm gonna go to the four views, look at it from the top view, and I'm going to plug this chord. I guess it would make sense to plug the chord into the computer. So to do that, I'm gonna go to create, Curves, EP Curve Tool. Uh, that stands for Edit Point Curve. And now looking at it from the top, and I can tap the space bar, I could turn on Wireframe on Shaded right here. And now I'm going to click from the mouse. I'm going to click like this. Even if I don't see my curve, that's okay. I'm going to click all the way to the end of the table and then hit Enter. Okay, there's my curve. And I want to bring this curve all the way down here. So maybe I'm going to do that again. And I'm going to go like this. Create Curves EP Curve. 
And if I click from the mouse here, I'm going to click, 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 click. And then instead of hitting enter, I'm going to continue that here from the side view and click, click, click to plug into the computer and then hit enter. Even if it's not perfect, that's okay. So now if I tap spacebar to go in back into my perspective view, I can now right click on the curve and go to control vertex. And these purple dots, I can move them and they move my cord. So I'm just going to use the arrow key to jump to dot to dot. And then I can use the arrows on my keyboard to kind of lift this up like this. I could even lift it up to really make it feel like it's going into the mouse. There we go. And I could make this could kind of play with this one and this one to make it feel like it's kind of hanging off the edge here. And maybe this is, I, I want it to kind of feel like it's loose, so it's kind of going like that. And then I want to make it feel like it's plugged in, so maybe it's coming back up like that. And now it's, uh, Okay, and I've got to move this over like that. So you can see how I'm getting kind of this three dimensionality on this on this line here, this curve. Okay, excellent. And now maybe I want to plug the monitor in too. So I'm going to use the same kind of idea for that. Um, so I'm going to go back to my four views and I'm going to go to create curve, EP curve tool. And now I'm going to click from here from the monitor. And it doesn't even have to be exact. I can just kind of start clicking. And then when I get to the side, I'm going to continue that and just kind of bring it down here. And that gets plugged in, let's say right there. Okay, good. And now if I look at this, um, it looks like it's not even close to uh, being on the monitor or even the computer. That's all right. I can right click, go to control vertex, press the space bar to go back to this view. And now I can kind of grab these points. There we go. And I could just keep making this look gradually like it's um, resting on the table. And I can press my arrow keys to kind of jump back and forth. Ah, there we go. That looks a little bit more natural. Maybe I have this kind of starting to go this way because I'm going to bring all of these this way. And the end, I want it to be plugged in. Okay, great. Now realize I'm not, this isn't really a, a piece of geometry right now. This is just kind of a path that will make, will extrude along on the next lesson, but I just wanted to get that set up there. Okay, cool. Now it's starting to look like it's actually a working kind of workstation here. So in the next lesson, I'm going to extrude along those curves.